Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone out there in YouTube land. My sister Adrienne, who joins me in the study this morning. We may have other guests show up and that will be all right. We'll just uh, deal with them as we usually do on our uh, ECAM program. And um, so we're on today, we're on page 154 in the Psalms <clears throat> and we're looking at Psalm 114. It's a real shorty. So we should be finished this in no time. Only eight, eight uh, verses to study today. I haven't got all my study tools completely ready, but we will deal with that too. <laughs> anyway, um, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for preserving us through our sleep in the night. Thank you for providing for our life during the day. And thank you for the for the sleep that you give us at the end of each day. Thank you, Lord, for uh, the friends that we have and the companionship that we have. Help us not to grumble and complain about what we lack, but to look to you always for our provision and for our um, life. And so as we uh, approach this study this morning, I ask that your spirit would uh, continue to lead and guide us to uh, take us deeper into your truth and to apply it in our daily living. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, here we are. <clears throat> and uh, it is, uh, according to my uh, calculation, this is the 141st recording that we are making in the Psalms. <clears throat> now, you would think that we'd be close to finishing the Psalms, but we're not quite. <laughs> okay, Adrian, will you read, please? And I'm going to mute. When Israel went forth from Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of, a, of strange language, Judah became his sanctuary, Israel his dominion. The sea looked and fled, the Jordan turned back, the mountains skipped the rams, the hills like lambs. What ails you, O sea, that you flee, O Jordan, that you turn back? O oh, mountains that you skip like rams, O oh, hills like lambs, tremble, O oh, earth, before the Lord, before the God of Jacob, who turned the rock into a pool of water, the flint into a fountain of water. Well, that's a very short psalm. <clears throat> very short. Very short. Um, it has some interesting things in it, and I forgot to do this, but I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to pull up. Um, the Blue Letter Bible, in case there's anything that we want to see. So you go to blueletterbible.org, and um, <clears throat> then you can type in the, the verse, words, or topic that you want to look at, and that is Psalm 114. And you can decide what version of the scriptures you want to use. We are using the New American Standard uh, Bible from 95. That's the one. And then you press the search thing. And there the, it all pops up. So in case I need it, there it is. Okay, back I come over here. To you. And you. And you. And you. And you. Okay. Let's get. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I didn't. Get, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, or the night before, or the night before that. So I'm a little wacky. Sorry about right. all of that. <laughs> okay. Um, so we got all our tools ready to go. Mm -hmm. Can we start. You ready to go? Okay, go for it. When Israel. Okay, so we're marking Israel. Went forth from Egypt. Okay, now hang on. I always mark Egypt, and I did find the pen. There it is, the pen that I use to mark Egypt. Do you want to know how I mark Egypt? How? I have this really shiny gold pen. When I think of Egypt, I think of all those pharaohs and, you know, all the mummies and all of the things that you do. So I, I mark it with an eye, like just a half eye. Egypt in gold. I've been doing that throughout my whole Bible. But I, I lost my pen. These are not easy to find. You have 
I got this one in a specialty shop. But it's gold. It's shiny. All right. Uh, okay, so when Egypt went forth, where from Egypt? Israel went forth from where from Egypt? What happened? Oh, the house of the house of Jacob from a people of strange language. Okay, so the house of Jacob. So Jacob is Israel. So his family, I guess, his the house of Jacob from a people of strange language. Okay, so that's talking about the Egyptians, right? I am assuming so. Okay, keep going. Judah became his sanctuary. Judah, Judah. I'm I'm not marking that like Israel. I'm marking I'm I'm it is a tribe of Judah or tribe. It's the tribe of Judah. <clears throat> became his sanctuary. Now, what are we talking about here? His sanctuary. Whose sanctuary? His sanctuary. Oh, it's in capital. Okay. It's God's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just looking it's it up. Sanctuary. I'm looking it up. Kodesh. 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 That's the word. Oh, you know what? That's holy. That's holy. That's the word for holy. His sanctuary. Hmm. Okay, and then, because uh, I'm looking at the, <clears throat> I'm looking at what it says here. Uh, verse 2. Oh, I haven't marked oh, so we're yet. Yeah, so we're talking about Exodus, um, Exodus 15. So that's where we're seeing that. Okay, a people of strange language. Israel became his sanctuary. Okay, so that's. That's God. I'm going to just mark it like that. His sanctuary. And Israel. Israel. His. Dominion. Oh, I can hear me. Can you? Yep. That's irritating. Okay, just wait. Oh, uh, i got to go back to the psalm. I'm, I'm, I've got the blue letter Bible up on my uh, computer screen here. Yeah. His sanctuary, Israel, his dominion. Memshallah. I have to look at this. I, I'm terrible at. Memshallah. 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 That's what the word is. Okay. The sea. Okay. Sorry. All right. Now that. Okay. Hang on a second here because that portion right there is. Uh, one segment, two verses become one segment. Oh yes, that's right. Um, just, <clears throat> so what do you think we'll, we'll um, glean just from that? Got pencil. <coughs> the me. Israel was from Egypt. Um, Okay, so it's talking about the historical time when Israel came out of Egypt. That was when Judah became his sack. Okay, so I'm just going to say, I'm going to say uh, Judah, God's sanctuary. And Israel, God's dominion. Okay, and those two words are are different in the Hebrew, and I'm not going to go into that or anything. But <clears throat> so a, there's a difference between a sanctuary and a dominion. So a dominion is a rulership. A sanctuary we we consider that to be a place where God dwells. Yes. And where we take refuge, right? Yeah, people where where the people take refuge. Okay, good. All right. Uh, here we are in uh, verse three now. The sea looked and fed, fled. The Jordan turned back. Okay, so there's two bodies of water. So we're marking bodies of water. <clears throat> so it this is I think uh, I'm pretty sure it's referring to um, when the Lord 
<clears throat> opened the Red Sea and Israel crossed and the Pharaoh's armies were drowned. And then the second was when he opened up the Jordan so that they could cross the Jordan into the promised land. Yes? Would you um, say? Just let me look that up. Yeah, so we are looking in Exodus. Yeah, chapter. it goes into Exodus and Joshua. Yeah. Exodus so, 14 yeah. and Joshua yeah. 3. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. All right. So what else happened? Verse 4. The mountain skipped like rams. The hills like lambs. So what do you suppose that's referring to? Well, what happens if the mountains are skipping about? Earthquakes. Mm. Mm hmm. Interesting. Poetic language. Have you ever seen little lambs jumping about? Yes. Have they're not? That's. <laughs> they leap right straight up in the air sometimes. So that's a good picture. Okay, verse five. What ails you, O sea, that you flee? O Jordan, that you turn back. So those are the references to water. And of course, the parting of the water. That's an interesting. Well, it's asking a question. That, it's poetic, right? Yeah. What's the matter with you? What's the matter for you? <clears throat> oh, mountain hey. says it. Ready? Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, mountains that you skip like rams. Oh, hills like lambs. So I marked all of those. When it says skipped like rams and skipped like rams that twice, I kind of uh, did the wavy thing like I would. Uh, I marked the same thing for fear, but it earthquakes. You know, the earthquakes, and I mark a wavy Okay. And uh, let me see. Verse 6. I'm going mm. there. I'm just looking to the right. Yeah, there's no... Um, there's no... Um, there's no reference, cross-reference that's mentioned for those. No. Okay, here we go. Okay. We go on to 7? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Seven is a, oh, pardon me. Seven is a new sec segment. So from three yes, to six is. is a segment. Okay. Uh, the sea and Jordan. I'm going to say river because it is. Um, turn back. Uh, no, uh. Parted. I'm going to put parted. And earthquakes. I'm just going to put that. Trembled the mountains. There we go. Okay. All right. Next segment is seven to eight, and that's the end of the psalm. Tremble. Uh huh. Oh, Earth. Oh, yeah, Earth. I have been marking Earth, but I forgot. Yeah. Did we have Earth before? No, we had we mountains. Did. Where? And mountains. We have had them both. Mountains. Hills. <coughs> mountains. Hills. Okay. Before the but, Lord. Okay, just hang on a second. We didn't have earth before in this particular one. Tremble, O earth, before the... Mm -hmm. Before the God of Jacob. Mm-hmm. Who turned... 
Who? Hold on. Who turned the rock? This is not a question. (laughs) No, I have to just read it for a second. Yeah. Who turned the rock into a pool of water? The flint. That's God. Who is God? Yes, yes. I had to read it for a minute. Turn the rock into a pool of water. The flint into a fountain of water. Okay, flint is a kind of rock, right? (coughs) Yes. It's a, um, they used flint to light fires. Yeah. Years and years ago. Because it sparks. Well, they still do. If you have a lighter and you go like that, there's a flint in it against this flint against the metal or flint against stone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Who turned the rock into a pool of water and the flint into a fountain of water. Okay. So this segment, what is... Okay, so that... Okay, so the tremble earth... Because it's it's asking, okay, in the segment before, it's asking, why are you skipping? Why are you hopping around like, like rams? So there's a statement in 3 and 4 that the mountains skipped like rams and the hills like lambs. And then uh, verse 5 and 6, and why, what's, what's your problem? Why are you doing that? Why are you skipping around like lambs, oh, you mountains? And then now it is um, an imperative that's said here. So what's the imperative? That the earth should tremble before the Lord. Mm-hmm. And who is the Lord? Okay, so the Lord, and listen, that is not that is not all caps. So I'm going back to my blue letter Bible and I'm going to have a look. Thank you, Jesus Minion. What else you will see? Who turned the Okay, the before the Lord. Okay, I'm there I am in the right verse here. For the Lord, that's Adonai. I'm going to write that beside I'm going to write it. that above it. Sure. That is the master. And before the God, <sighs> uh, uh, yes, okay, the God of Jacob. So, Eloha, Ya, Akob. Yeah, so that's, pardon, if anybody uh, does Hebrew, I'm sorry. I'm just reading the um, uh, 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 transliteration. Is that what it is when you write something in English pronunciation? Of course, that all depends on whether you are British English or American English or Australian or New Zealand or Canadian English. (laughs) Okay, so sorry about that, everybody. So it's Adonai and it is Elohim, Eloha. So the God, God is Elohim. So... Eloha, <clears throat> and that's not to be confused with the with the um, Hawaiian greeting. <laughs> I know I'm goofy today. I didn't get enough. I didn't get enough sleep. Okay, so tremble before Adonai, before Elohim of Jacob. And who? And so, what did that? What did God do? Turn the rock into a pool of water and the flint into a fountain of water. So do you remember what historical reference that is, Adrian? That's when God told Abraham to hit the rock. That wasn't Abraham. Moses. Yes. Moses. With the rock, with his staff and the pool of water came. I'm not sure. can't remember the fountain of water. Yep. Well, God did that twice for them in in uh, in the desert when He was taking. Them yeah, He did, but the, the second promise. time was because of Moses' disobedience. Mm, yeah, well, he he was going to do it anyway, but he said to Moses the second time, "Speak to the rock, don't." Yeah, don't that's what I'm saying. It's yeah. because of his disobedience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> okay, so. Um, once again, we go back to this. When we are reading this psalm as Gentile believers, we are worshiping the same God. 
we were saved and redeemed by the same God who made provision through Jesus Christ, his son, so that we could be saved and share in this. And this is, so when we read this, we always, always must consider that, that, that the earth, the very earth itself trembles before the Lord and the God who made them, the, the creator. And it was God who made the, and, and this is kind of like a reminder, I guess, you know, this is who God is. He's the one that may brought water out of the rock. And remember Jesus said, ho, oh, any who th are thirsty uh, and out of his spirit will flow streams of living water. Okay. So you have to look that up in Google to find where that is. That just came to my mind and I don't know where it is and I might have mangled two together <laughs> two references but you can do that anybody out there in YouTube land can do that we've come to the end of the psalm and uh, uh, for Adrienne and I we have come to the end of the week and here we are beginning the weekend and look they are sending us rain we are getting rain today I hope Chilly it doesn't rain, rain tomorrow April showers bring May flowers. How many fish in the rain anyways? <laughs> My sister is keen on going fishing for the, Was it? will this be the first time for the year? Yes. She has her fishing license. She has her fishing pole. She knows where to get the fishing worms. <laughs> All right, my friends. So, um... <clears throat> Unless you have anything else you want to say about this psalm, my dear, I'm we should. That, I'm looking up that spring thing. Oh, okay. A spring of living water. That's what you. Okay, so you know, you just go on Google. You go Google no, and you say. No, spring. Springs of living water. Down like spring. Springs of living waters. Jump. <clears throat> Ten Bible verses about living water. Ah, John four fourteen. Okay. John four fourteen. But whoever drinks of the water that I will give him, this is Jesus speaking, shall never thirst, but the water that I give him will become in him a well of water springing up into eternal life. And then John seven verse thirty eight He who believes in me, as the scripture said, from his innermost being will flow rivers of living water i've got a river of life flowing out of me it makes the lame to walk and the blind to see oh and uh jeremiah 17 verse 13 O oh lord the hope of israel all who forsake you will be put to shame those who turn away on earth will be written down because they have forsaken the fountain of living water even the lord Boy, that's ah, and then there's something future, Zechariah 14, verses 8 to 9. And in that day, living waters will flow out of Jerusalem, half of them towards the eastern sea, the other half towards the western sea. It, it will be in summer as well in, as in winter, and the Lord will be king over all the earth. In that day, the Lord will be the only one, and his name the only one. Cool, eh? Oh, yeah. So the one that I was quoting was John 7, uh, 37 to 39. Now, on the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If anyone is thirsty, and that's where I say, Ho, oh, anyone who is thirsty, come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture said, from his innermost being will flow rivers of living water. But this he spoke of the spirit whom those who believed in him were to be receive. For the Spirit was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified. Ah, and then in the re Revelation. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Revelation 22, verse 1 and 2. Then he showed me a river of the water of life, clear as crystal, coming from the throne of God and of the Lamb, in the middle of the, of it, of the, oh, I can't see it totally. Sorry, in the middle of, oh, where did I go? 
in the middle of its street. On either side of the river was the tree of life, bearing twelve kinds of fruit, yielding its fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Back in uh, Revelation 21, verses 6 to 8, Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give to the one who thirsts from the spring of the water of life without cost. He who overcomes will inherit these things, and I will be his God, and he will be my son. But for the cowardly and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and immoral persons and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars, their part will be in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So that's what the scripture said was going in, was going through my mind as we were uh, reading that. Anyway, so I hope this has been a blessing to you, Adrienne. It's been a blessing to me, and I hope it's been a blessing to our friends out there in YouTube world. So uh, I'm going to close in prayer, and then we'll see you in the next one. Heavenly Father, thank you so much that you are a river of life, that you said, come to me, all who are thirsty, and I will give you uh, water, and that water will be springing up into eternal life. That is so amazing. It's so amazing. And I pray, Lord, if there's anyone within earshot of this, that your word would go forth and you would speak to them and that they would hear and that they would repent and that they would come to you like little children and say, Lord, save me. I Give me of that living water because you freely give it to any who ask. Thank you that you've given it to me and to my sister, Adrienne. Thank you that uh, our lives have been changed as a result. And thank you that we have an eternal hope of glory that's yet to come as we are faithful and we, we, uh, we wait eagerly for our bridegroom to say come. Anyway, Lord, thank you again for this wonderful study that you've given to us. Thank you for the opportunity to share it with our friends online. Make us a blessing to others, and please bless all who hear and participate. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you folks, we'll see you in the next one.